GSoft 2 is the quickest and easiest way to set up and configure your GS4 drive. Let's do an example. First, download the free GSoft 2 application from the Automation Direct website. You'll find it under Downloads Software. Next, you'll need a USB to 485 converter. This is the recommended converter because it's the one Automation Direct support team is familiar with. If you use some other converter, they may not be able to help you if you need to contact them. Plug the USB adapter into the PC and the other end into either of the RS-45 ports on the drive. Don't plug it in up here, that's for upgrading the firmware. Apply power to the drive and wait for it to come up. Bring up the software and click on Connect. If you go to the Windows Device Manager on your PC, you should see something that looks like this. Let's see, it looks like my converter ended up on this COM port, so I should enter that here, but I'm not going to do that just yet. Now your COM port will probably be different than mine, so don't assume it's this number. Click on this COM test button to verify you have a connection. Uh oh, something's wrong. Well, we haven't selected the correct COM port yet, right? Ok, let's go ahead and do that now. Ah, much better. If you still get a fault, even if you know you have the correct COM port, then make sure these settings match the COM port settings in the Windows Device Manager and that this is set to RTU. You can also use this auto detect. It tries every combination of every setting so it can take a while. But, if you don't remember what baud rate the drive was set to, for example, this is a great way to find it. These are the default settings, so always try them first. Well, things look good, so let's connect to the drive. Down here we see a green light telling us we are connected and the COM port parameters that we're currently using. Click on the Parameters button to see a display of all of the drive's parameters. Click the Read button to read all of the parameters from the drive and fill in this table. This tells us that green parameters can be written to while the motor is running. Blue parameters can only be written when the motor is not running and black are read only parameters. This line is important. It tells us we're currently looking at the drive menu, not the file menu, which drive GSoft 2 thinks we're playing with and a reminder to hit the read to update the current drive parameters. If I reach over and change parameter 00 to a 231 and hit read, sure enough, we see the new parameter value. It's red because it's not the default value. I love that I can quickly see what's different just by looking for the red parameters. You can also see what the min and max allowable values are for each parameter over here. Now writes happen instantly. For example, let's change that motor voltage back to 230 and as soon as I hit return or cursor away from it, the drive gets updated. And look down here. There's a running log that tells us everything we've done since we last read from the drive. If I do another read, that log gets cleared out. Can I enable the drive from here? Well, over here in parameter set 9, I see a run parameter. If I enable it, hmm, the motor didn't go and we got an error. Why? Well, because we haven't told the drive to accept remote run commands from the RS-45 port. With parameter 3.0, we can tell the drive to accept run commands from the keypad, a digital I.O., the RS-45 port, or a COM card. We want this one that leaves the keypad stop enabled, so we enter a 3 in parameter 3.0. Now if we go back to parameter set 9 and enable the run command, sure enough, the motor runs. Perfect. Well, that's more than enough to get you started with GSoft 2. But there are some really cool features built into this software like remote keypad operation, the ability to view signals in real time, firmware updates, etc. We'll cover those and a lot more in part 2 of this quick start series. One final note, GSoft 2 only works with the GS4 drives. You'll still need the original GSoft application to configure the GS1, 2 and 3 drives. The good news is they're both a free download at the Automation Direct website. Click here to learn more about the GS4 drive. Click here to learn about Automation Direct's free support options and click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you get notified when we publish new videos.